Hi guys, welcome back to Deepak Study Reading and today we're going to be talking about The Content Machine by Dan Norris. So Dan Norris built a seven-figure business which he, as I've seen subsequent, I think, to this book, actually, you know, preceding this book, sold a WordPress SaaS company where he has devs who solve people's WordPress problems on an ongoing basis for a monthly fee. It's a pretty well-established, decent business model and perhaps something I need to talk to you, Charles, about explored it before but yeah he sold it to GoDaddy it's a team of about 40 people 24 7 wordpress development and support you sign up and pay on a monthly basis so the company calls WP Curve Dan Norris is an Australian and he built the business through content marketing and content pro- well, content production rather and then content marketing with nominal actual fees involved so the book goes through a lot of the strategies that he's picked up as a content marketer and yeah i liked it i think there's some really good things here from the book that i'll go through in terms of the takeaways so the first thing is to think about the production of viral content so you want to look at google trends you want to look at buzzsumo you want to look at what's popular in your industry in adjacent industries so if you're in the tattoo business then there's different types of body art so maybe there's something that you could fuse with body art you want to look at top performing websites you want to look at huge content websites such as buzzfeed to see what's popular and what's trending so if you build up your list of sites to get information from when it comes to viral and popular trending content then you can build a little bit of an ecosystem of what type of content that you can produce that you can crowbar in slash align with your audience so i think that's a good way to do it and then the idea is is we're going to talk about this but if you have a promotion framework once you produce a really nice piece of content then you can see what's possible with that so that's the way to think about it so if you refer to these sources it does mean that when you do produce content that's more likely to be viral by nature you can then share it with relevant journalists and talk about things that are also controversial by nature so you can be contrarian within a blog post it's of course a relatively common trope but not necessarily people think about enough programmatically almost so that it's built in and systematized into your well, rather, the thinking like that, yes, is is, is systematized and, and and put into your put into your put into your processes, and therefore you can continuously churn out content of that ilk by putting it through a pre-built criteria, and then also infuse it with interesting statistics in any of your niches. That would also work really well so there's always ways to get access to interesting niche data as well that you could consider i think that again everything when it comes to this type of stuff is a matter of focus and what you choose to double down on and what you choose to do so i think that that's of course a definite consideration that if you can have someone who specifically focuses upon content promotion within the team and give them a process to follow though, that then there could be some success that could come from this. So that's something that I actually need to think about because I'm investing energy into Quora right now to grow the Quora account. And that will be to grow the the cats that I'm building. It could be to grow the, the, the pet travel business that I'm building. If anyone's got any questions about that, then let me know. But yeah, I think that it's 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 really just a case about beginning to put pieces together. So yeah, that's the next element. Further to that, building, of course, an email list and making sure you engage with your email subscribers in some sort of content sequence, it's important. So creating value through email, I think is big. And I've got my three, well, I've got my 1000 day newsletter. And as November approaches, I will begin producing more content for that newsletter. So Lydia, please do place a reminder for me to put together that continue with the newsletter. And then Viba, if you're listening, Google, uh, Melanie also, if you can have a thought about content promotion strategy, obviously that centers around producing a piece of content that could be viral in nature and we need to have a think about how that could really work within the sites that we've got so i'd love just some thinking around that because obviously really there's 
potentially only yourself men only that could do that content so then if we were to assume you do that once a month where would that content sit and live and and what would we do about it so that's just also something to to to, to consider also it's really powerful to think about having a pitch sequence that you can intermittently put your subscribers into so if you have subscribers are growing why don't you after day 30 of sending them weekly content you can put them into a sequence where you sell them something apparently that's doable with drip or some of the tools that that exist out there now so that's just a really really interesting consideration so these are my first series of insights on the content machine by dan norris and i'll follow up with some further insights now that i finish it hey guys it's deepak shukla here i am huge on listening to books on audible so if you're interested in getting all of the insights as i discover them through the course of all the books i read please please do comment like and of course subscribe so that you get notified every time we release a video thank you so much and i hope to hear from you soon